Renato Corona is the 23rd Chief Justice of the Philippines. He is also the first member of the Supreme Court to be impeached. Although he had sterling record in law school, Corona hardly had any experience in judicial work prior to his appointment to the SC. This is because he had worked half of his life in political offices, the academe, and the corporate sector. Before his ascent to the highest position in the judiciary, Corona was a fixture in the political scene. Corona started his career in Malacanang way back in college from 1970 to 1974 as an employee in the office of then Executive Secretary Alejandro Melchor. Corona earned his law degree from the Ateneo de Manila Law School where he taught for 17 years. As a young lawyer, he served as a special counsel at the Development Bank of the Philippines. He became senior vice president and general counsel of the Commercial Bank of Manila and a senior officer of the Tax and Corporate Counseling Group of the Tax Division of Sisip Gores and Vilayo. In 1992, he joined the administration of President Fidel Ramos as Assistant Executive Secretary for Legal Affairs and concurrent head of the Malacanang Legal Office. In her book, Shadow of Doubt, Investigative journalist Marites Dangilan Vitug reveals Corona would have been a Ramos appointee in the Supreme Court if the former president had his way in 1998. Reaching the end of his term, Ramos tried to appoint Corona as an associate justice. The High Court, led by then Chief Justice Andres Narvasa, was quick to block it. In fact, this is touted as the first recorded conflict between the executive and the judiciary. The Narvasa court cited the constitutional ban on midnight appointments. Ramos insisted the election ban applies only to appointments in the executive branch of government. The Supreme Court prevailed, but that did not end Corona's search for a position at the high court. When Arroyo became the vice president, she absorbed Corona as her chief of staff and spokesperson. Said to have played a crucial role in Arroyo's ascent to power through Edsa Dos, Corona was appointed Presidential Chief of Staff and later Acting Executive Secretary. On April 9, 2002, Corona was appointed as SC Associate Justice. Corona's appointment as Chief Justice came on May 12, 2010, two days after the elections and a month before Arroyo's term expired. Critics described it as a move by Mrs. Arroyo to shield her from possible graft investigations by her successor. President-elect Benigno Aquino did not hide his disgust over the Corona appointment and breaking protocol took his oath of office before then Supreme Court Associate Justice Conchita Carpio Morales. The Corona Court delivered a series of blows to the Aquino administration's anti-corruption campaign. It started with the declaration of the proposed Truth Commission as unconstitutional. In November, the court also stopped government from preventing former President Arroyo from leaving the country for medical treatment. In between these incidents, Malacanang and the SC quarreled over the non-release of the judicial fund. On December 5, President Aquino openly criticized Corona. Kung may isang likod bayan na tumatanong ng utanlog, hindi sa taong bayan na siyang dapat nabukal ng aming kapangyarihan, kundi sa isang padron na isinisiksik siya sa pwesto, maasahan po kaya natin siyang intindihin ang interes ng Pilipino. Several days after, Corona decided it was time to fight back. At ngayon, sasabihin ko po sa kanilang lahat, Ako ay tumututol sa walang tigil na pang-aalibusta, pang-duduro at pananahot. Ako ay tumututol sa dahan-dahang binubuong diktadura ni Pangulong Benigno Sibyon Aquino Patay. Andre Figurasyon, Solar News.